Hello and welcome to the North Hills Middle School 24-25 school year, sixth grade and new student orientation. My name is Mr. Lesjack. I will be the middle school principal this year. And sitting with me is Mrs. Katie Hartman. She's the associate principal. Last year, you knew her as Miss Finelli. Here at the middle school, we do have a counselor assigned to each grade level and that counselor will stay with you through your entire time at the middle school. So our rising sixth graders will work with Mrs. File, seventh grade is with Mrs. McElhaney, and eighth grade is with Mr. Terabishi. We also have a student assistance program counselor, Mr. Ratnavale, who works with students in all three grade levels. The middle school is different from your elementary schools, and that's why we're here to support you. We do have nine periods every day, and each period is roughly 40 minutes in length. And then in between each period, you'll have four minutes to travel to your next class. At the end of the day, we have a 20 minute homeroom period, which you'll have with students in your same grade and on your same team. Because at the middle school, we use what's called the team concept. So within sixth grade, you'll have a group of roughly 90 to 100 students that all have the exact same teachers for your core classes, your math, your English language arts, your science and your social studies. So this is what that bell schedule looks like. 7.30 in the morning is when the doors open, which gives you 20 minutes to come on in, get breakfast, go to your locker, and then make it to first period by 7.50. You can see there's about 40 minutes for each class, including our lunches. And then at the end of the day, there's that 20 minute homeroom period, which you'll go back to to finish the day out. So as a rising sixth grader, you'll have a pretty similar schedule. You'll have two periods of math, which will be back to back with the same teacher. And then you'll have a period of reading and a period of writing. You'll have those with the same classmates and the same teacher, but they might be at different periods of the day. You'll have one period of social studies and one period of science, and those represent your core classes. You then get a little bit of choice. All sixth graders have two days a week of physical education, and the other three days of the week, they have a music class, whether you've chosen beginner band or music or choir or orchestra. And then you have a period of what we call our trimesters. That means that during that period for 12 weeks, you'll attend an art class. And then for 12 weeks, you'll go to an innovation and design class. And then for 12 weeks, you'll go to a computer science class and you'll rotate through those throughout the school year. And then of course, every student gets a lunch period. As a sixth grader, all sixth graders eat fifth period lunch where you'll sit with your team in the cafeteria. We know that middle school is a big change for you. It's also a big change for me because I'm new as well, but there's a lot of great things we have at the middle school that make it different and make it exciting. You don't have recess, unfortunately, but you do have club and activity period. So each semester you'll pick a different club to be involved in. And a, once every couple of weeks, we'll run that club and activity period so you can experience that organization. So whether you wanna join the watercolor painting club, or you like Disney parks or history or basketball, we have about 50 different choices for you so that you can get involved in something and meet some new people and have a lot of fun with your teachers and your classmates. We also have a PBIS program, which you should be familiar from, from your elementary schools. Ours is called Strong as Steel. And we have three core tenets, three pillars of that program that we really try to emphasize in middle school. The first is take ownership. This is your building, this is your education, so making sure that you're making the choices to help you make it the best that you can be. Second is demonstrate respect for the people, the things, and the building around you. And then lastly, making sure that you always choose safety in all of the decisions you make. And we'll do a lot more with those three pillars during the opening week of school as we do some kickoff activities, but we try to have a lot of fun with that and make it something that really helps you make your middle school experience one that's the best for you. And lastly, we have a lot of academic supports for you in place this year to help you try to be as successful as you can in middle school. This year we'll have what's called guided study. That means that during your lunch period, you can get a pass from a teacher and you can go to a classroom where there'll be a teacher assigned to sit there and help you 
whether it's getting your homework done or getting some additional support on the content. And during that homeroom period, at the end of the day, we have math help where there'll be a teacher assigned in sixth grade to help you with your homework, get additional help in math. And we also have two programs that can help you outside of school. This year, we have a partnership with what's called Varsity Tutors. That's a 24-7 online tutoring platform that you can get additional assistance through a chat app that will also share more information about the beginning of the school year. And lastly, we have our local partnership with the Westview Hub down in Westview, where you can always get tutoring and other assistance for you or your family. At this point, I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Hartman, and she's going to talk a little bit more about the middle school. Hello, everybody. This is Mrs. Hartman here. Um, as we welcome you to the middle school, there are some new procedures um, that we adopt at the middle school that maybe are unfamiliar um, coming from the elementary level. So we'll first talk about arrival and dismissal. So if you are planning to ride a bus to school every day, um, your bus will drop you off at the main entrance of the middle school. As Mr. Lesjack said, you will have about 20 minutes to go to your locker, get breakfast, and make your way to first period by 7.50. If you are a bus rider at dismissal time, at 2.50, our dismissal bell will ring and you will dismiss out the doors of the middle school there are five bus zones. Buses are placed in each zone and they are in any order, but your bus is always located in the same zone every day. So for example, if you ride bus 704, your bus will be at the baseline zone. Next, we'll talk about arrival if you're a car rider. So in the morning, we open our doors at 730 if your parent is planning to drive you to school, you will come up the main entrance of the hilltop and make the first right into the annex parking lot. You'll follow the blue arrows on the screen to the drop-off zone. There will be teachers there welcoming you into the building. You'll go in through the annex doors, make your way up and begin first period. At dismissal time, if you are a car rider, you'll leave at the dismissal bell at 2.50 and make your way back down to the annex parking lot doors where your parent will be located. Parents can park either in a parking spot or follow the blue arrows to the drop-off zone. Teachers will be there to ensure that students get into vehicles safely and exit the hilltop safely as well. Another middle school procedure is our attendance. We are adopting school dismissal manager this year, which the elementary schools have utilized in the past. School dismissal manager is an online portal used to report student absences, late arrivals, and early dismissals. Through school dismissal manager, the school will automatically be alerted. So it is not necessary to call or email us the excuses. Complete details regarding school dismissal manager is available at nhsd.net. Some reminders about middle school expectations. The first is that we have our district-wide student handbook available through the NHSD website to reference regarding additional procedures and policies. Next is our bag policy. Students um, should bring a book bag to school every day but that book bag should remain in your lockers. Drawstring bags and purses are permitted within the hallways and in classrooms. All students are permitted to carry a water bottle during the school day, but please make sure you only have clear liquids within the water bottle. And lastly, cell phones. Cell phones should remain in your locker during the school day. If we need to call home, or reach out to our parent, you are welcome to come down to the AP office and utilize our phone system. And getting ready for the first day of school. Here are some to-do list items for you. The first is our back to school forms. These must be completed within PowerSchool. PowerSchool is our portal where you can find your grades, your assignments, and also your schedule. If you are missing any PowerSchool access information, please contact Ms. DeAngelis, who is our secretary in the AP office. Her email is listed on the screen. 
Additionally, we do require health forms at the start or end of a school year. You'll notice sixth grade requires a physical exam by the end of the school year, and seventh grade requires various vaccination proofs and a dental exam. If you're entering eighth grade, there are no health requirements. Additional information or questions, feel free to reach out to our nurse, Mrs. Alicia Ravenstall, and her email and phone number are listed on the screen. Student iPads. All students at North Hills Middle School have one-to-one -one access to a device. You will be provided your iPad on the first day of school upon arrival. iPad insurance is highly recommended. We know mistakes and accidents happen, so we certainly encourage your family to purchase this. It is $35 per device per year, and you can register through one-to-one -one risk solutions. If you do require an iPad case replacement, you are welcome to stop into the AP office. Cases for iPads are $20. And the last component of our orientation is walking your schedule. So as I mentioned, PowerSchool is the place where you can find your schedule. When you log into PowerSchool, you'll see information regarding the class periods, the course name, the teacher, and the room number. When reading the room number, it's important to understand the way to do it. So when you look at the first row of this screen, it says mathematics is during periods one and two, and the room number is C223. When you're looking at the room number, the letter, so C for example, refers to the hallway. The next number refers to the floor. So this math class is located in hallway C, floor two, and the remaining two numbers refer to the room number. So mathematics is in hallway C, floor two, room 33. And when you arrive to school, it's really important to know how to navigate your locker. It may not happen the first time, but I can guarantee you that you will get the hang of it in no time. These are some directions for navigating and opening your locker, um, and they are posted around the school. The first day of school is Wednesday, August 21st. We hope that you're as excited as we are. So we really look forward to seeing you. Any questions, you can go ahead and contact us at the information below and have a great day.